All right, legends, welcome along to Here's Rodder's Reviews. I'm your host, Rodney Stewart, and I've got a swift little recommendation for you as far as a show you need to watch. And it is the classic Gareth Marenghi's Dark Place. Now, this here, I remember it coming out. It was first broadcast back in 2004. I'm just looking up some of the details here online while I'm talking about this here because it was one of these shows where we randomly came across it one Friday evening and I believe it was the the opening episode of Memory Serves. I literally, I came across it on Britbox and I sat and watched all six episodes and it is hilarious. It is one of these shows that if you're into that old school kind of uh, 80s horror this is what Gareth Marenghi's Dark Place was it was like a spoof of a, a show that was made 2004, released 2004 but within the show it's it's a show within a show if you get what I mean Dark Place is uh, a show that they say was made back in the 1980s so whenever you actually see the show it looks like an 80s show it's got all the visual effects it's even got the classic channel 4 logo from the 80s at the beginning of it but intertwined throughout each of these episodes there's like uh interviews with gareth Marenghi himself as the writer director now that's a fictional character as well. Like the, the guy is Matthew Holness, and uh, it is so well done that you even start to question why you're watching it. Did this actually happen? Because the way he brings it up in the the opening episode is that they produced this series for Channel Four back in the 1980s but it was crap <laughs> nobody liked it and they didn't show it but now in 2004 we're within the worst television drought in the history of television so they've decided to pull this garbage out of the <laughs> the trash can and actually show it so they have decided to put this like uh director's commentary intertwined within each episode it is unreal and as cheesy as it comes um what else have we got in here um uh yes science fiction horror uh the the pc squad would have a field day with this show if it was broadcast now for the first time it is very very much not PC and a lot of it and again that's like delving straight into like the, the old eighties way of, of doing things but the the show itself is intentionally made badly and uh like the, there's an episode where um what's it called? I think it's episode two it's called Hell Half Fury and uh Objects begin to fly around and uh, suspicion falls in the hospital's temporary clerical assistant and uh, she develops like uh, the ability to move stuff where her mind she kind of gets possessed and whatnot. It's kind of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer in a way. Um, it's set in a hospital. Garth Marenghi's character is uh, one of these doctors that everybody you know looks up to and whatnot but he inadvertently at one point in history opened a gate to hell in the hospital and thought he had closed it but in every episode in this series parts start to bleed out so it's kind of like the hell mouth and buffy the vampire slayer and uh each episode is him trying to defeat evil essentially so there's a part where this girl develops this power to move things with her mind and uh, they're getting attacked by like staplers and scissors and whatnot, and like you can literally see the strings hanging from the the ceiling, you know, <laughs> like as low budget as you can get. And 
intertwined throughout that there of course you've got the the producer and the director and all having these different interviews and they're kind of like well you know what if you see uh the strings and you concentrate on the strings you you're not in it for what you're supposed to be in it for if you really like the show you wouldn't see the strings more or less and uh there was one interview where um matt berry i can't recall his character's name right now i'm just scanning through here to see if i can see it um dean lerner uh he's like the producer and he pops up and he's like you know people would say or no what way did he put it um i haven't acted since we did gareth Marenghi's dark place some would say i didn't act during it you know so it's stupid little one-liners got there it's absolutely brilliant and well worth watching and you know it literally looks like somebody just decided they wanted to make an independent project and had absolutely no idea what they were doing and they just went for it and they didn't care what it looked like and they just did it because they uh they wanted to do it it's it's i loved it i thought it was great as I say, like back in 2004, when it first came out, I came across that first episode, but uh remembered very little of it, so whenever I seen it in BritBox, decided I had to sit down and check it out. And I literally did all six episodes back to back. It is... <laughs> it's definitely not going to be the best thing you've ever seen in your life but as an experience to be had nonetheless and I haven't talked about it now in this episode I might actually go and watch it again myself because it's that bad it's brilliant 